Namaste, everyone. This is our own practice. In the event that we have to practice yoga at home and are unable to meet in class, let this be a poor substitute for being present, but let it be useful nonetheless. Plant those sitting bones into the floor. Sit up straight. Not forced. Not slouching. Feel yourself aligning as those sitting bones push down and your head reaches towards the clouds. Notice your shoulders, hips, pelvis, sacrum, lumbar. Find that perfect seated posture, Sukhasana. Fill yourself with breath. Bring in that oxygen. Bring in that energy to every cell. Allow yourself with each exhale to release carbon dioxide and other toxins that accumulate in this body. Feel how your chest rises and lifts the lungs inflate, the rib cage moves and expands when you fill with breath and how easily you're able to squeeze it out like a sponge as you bring your navel towards your spine. That cycle over and over again, inhalation, exhalation. Notice any areas that are resisting and breathe light and energy into those places. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, take a moment, inquire within, ask yourself what will best serve today in your practice. Set your intention. And so it is. Let's begin our practice with the sound of Om. Bring your hands to your heart at Namaste. Draw in a deep breath. Let's begin with some neck releasing. When you're ready, draw in a deep breath. And allow yourself to gently lower left ear, left shoulder. Turn your head, find the perfect release point. Come into the pose. Nothing forced. Just feel yourself emptying down into yourself. Tune into your lower back, your seat. Make sure you haven't lost some of that spaciousness you've generated. Be comfortable breathing and yet experiencing that edge, experiencing the sensations all along your trapezius. If this feels perfect, stay. If you'd like to explore some variations, allow yourself to extend right arm out at shoulder height with your palm facing down. Notice the connection as the humerus draws out of your shoulder joint. Fingers radiating outward. Sitting tall, experiencing this nuance in the pose. When you're ready, let your arm and hand float to the floor till your fingers touch. Activate further by pressing lightly into the floor with your fingers and thumb. If you wish, walk your fingers out and the side of your body, even if it's just a half an inch, experience that extra bit of elongation. If you want to add more, take those left fingertips, bring them around to the right temple area. Let those fingers draw, pull, elongate, more spaciousness along the trapezius, that long muscle from your earlobe down to your shoulder. Breathe into your body. One more deep breath in. 
Exhale, return right hand to your lap. Next inhale, use your left fingertips to gently push your head right back to neutral. Let's do the other side. Begin with a deep breath in. And then exhale and gently lower, right ear, right shoulder. Turn your head, find the release point. Drop into the pose. Notice if that left shoulder lifted up in a cautionary state. Allow it to settle, to relax. Feel yourself lengthening. Breathing deeply. Enjoy being in the pose. Notice the sensation. Is it the same on this side as the other? Just awareness. No attachment. It feels appropriate. Extend left arm this time out at shoulder height with your palm facing down. Allow your humerus to draw out of your shoulder joint. Feel those fingers reaching across the room as you radiate this energy outward and inward. If it feels appropriate, allow your arm to slowly descend to the floor to your fingers touch. Activate them by pressing more firmly. Walk your fingers out to the side, drawing more sensation, more elongation. And lastly, if it feels good, Take that right hand, bring it around to your left temple. Use those fingers to draw, to pull, to generate more spaciousness along your trapezius. Always making sure that you can breathe fully, unencumbered by pushing, pulling, forcing, going beyond your edge. Stay in that zone. One more deep breath in. Exhale, return left hand to your lap. Next inhale, right fingertips. Gently press at your temple. Bring your head right back to neutral. All right, both sides done. Let's finish the sequence by coming forward. Draw in a deep breath. Exhale, lower your chin towards your chest. Feel the back of your neck lengthening. If you wish. Move your head gently from side to side before finding stillness. Feel the elongation, the lifting, the separation. If you want to add to this pose ever so gently, place your hands behind your head to pull you in a little further. Breathe into your body. One more deep breath in. Exhale, let your hands flow to the floor. Next inhale, gently bring your head back up to neutral. Open your eyes, they're closed. Nice. Let's continue in our warm up. Why don't we do a reverse table? So bring your legs out in front of you. Take them long, rock them back and forth, bounce them, shake them, circle your ankles, get your toes to stretch. Circle in both directions. Bring your toes towards you and away from you. And if you'd like to do that reverse table, Square yourself on your mat, feet hip distance apart. Look for perfect alignment so when you lift, ankles and knees are stacked, wrists, elbows and shoulders as well. Equally aligned, let your head flow back. Feel each finger, each toe pushing into the floor as you lift your navel up to the sky. If you find movement, rock gently back and forth, forward and back, side to side. Opening your heart, head floating back. Feel the spaciousness. Notice where you activate it through your tailbone, glutes and quads. Open your body. Hang out as long as it feels perfect for you. If you're still up, one more deep breath in. 
And then exhale, gently lower with control to you land safely. Bring the heels towards each other, knees fully wide, sitting up tall. One more deep breath in. Exhale, come forward. Slide your hands down your legs, nose towards the floor. Angle the crown of your head so you feel yourself melting into the floor and towards your mat. Fill the body with breath. Soften your belly. Let your arms extend as you feel yourself gaining more spaciousness coming forward. Breathe. Experience. Surrender. Relax it. Release it. Let yourself empty into the floor, into your mat. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out all the way. And then slowly, gently, come on back up. Head and neck, last part of your body to lift. Nice. Sit up tall. Let's do an easy forward fold. Keeping your legs aligned, head and neck free. Drawing a deep breath. And allow your torso to come forward. Notice your hamstring. As you come forward, you can gently slide your hands down your legs towards your feet. When you come to those places where you meet resistance, soften, angle your head. Let yourself feel the perfect balance between coming down without pushing too hard against your edge. Breathe fully into your body. Feel yourself spreading, lengthening. If you wish, you can extend your arms along the floor, using your hands to pull gently towards you, drawing you further, deeper into the stretch. Face soft. Totally free. Hang out as long as it feels perfect for you. Opening, releasing. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out all the way. And then slowly walk those hands up your legs as you roll up. Head and neck, last part to lift. Bring your feet in a little closer. Let's stoke the fires of our core with Navasana boat pose. Hands underneath your knees. When you're ready, lean back, raise up your legs, just past your tailbone. Hang out here if it feels good. If you want more, extend your arms without raising your shoulders. And if you wish to take it further, straighten those legs. Feel yourself angling outward, arms pushing forward, feet up, perfect position, finding balance. Close your eyes if you want to internalize the practice. Lifting, lengthening, feel the energy radiating right out through your toes and fingertips, the top of your head. Face soft, perfect balance between engaging and relaxing. Full deep breaths. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release. Oof. Good job. Let that right leg come forward. Draw your left heel in. Cross it over your thigh as we prepare to do a seated twist. Find your seat, draw left knee towards you, right leg pressing into the floor, lifting up out of your lower back, 
When you're ready, with a wide and deep breath, raise up that left arm, sweeping upwards as you inhale, exhale as you lower down behind you, pushing your hand into the floor. Balance all of these parts of your body, straight leg, bent knee, lifting out of your spine, perfect alignment as you prepare to twist. Remember, start your twist from your seat, work upwards in a spiral. So draw in a deep breath, and then exhale, slowly start to twist to the left so that the right shoulder moves forward, the left shoulder draws back. Soften or relax your twist as you inhale. Deepen your twist as you exhale. Less air, more spaciousness in your body. Feel yourself wringing out like a sponge as you lift, turn. Let your head and neck be the last part to enter into this twist. Close your eyes, internalize your practice. Feel the spaciousness. Feel your body enjoying this process, detoxing, twisting, adjusting your organs, your muscles, your bones, your connective tissue. Never over twisting. Come back to your breath. If you can breathe freely, then you're fine. Breathe, experience. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out all the way. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Hang out here. Empty your breath for a few moments. See if there's more movement, more release, more space. When you're ready, inhale. Back to center you go. Use that left arm to push against your shin. Right arm behind. Again, equalizing as you count a twist. Feel the power of your straight leg lifting up out of your seat. Even out the energy. No one part dominating. Experience being alive and awake in this body. Deeper and deeper, your awareness grows. Nothing to do except experience. Be present. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out all the way. Ah, squeeze that breath out like a sponge. Hang out here for a moment or two. Experience the vastness of this pose. When you're ready, inhale. Back to center you go. Hands to either side of your straight right leg. Lower down your left knee. Come forward. Notice your hamstring on your straight right leg. Use your hands to push down into the floor. Find the perfect balance. No need to push, no need to force. Relax your belly. Breathe. Be present. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out all the way. Slowly inhale as you walk your hands towards you. Pick up. Left foot and leg. Begin to bring your leg from side to side. Try not to slouch. If you wish, you can come in to rock the baby, cradling your elbow underneath the sole of your foot. Keep your ankle and your knee aligned. Rock back and forth. Experience being present. Being aware, pushing, pulling, lifting, lengthening. Take it to some other variations. Extend that leg in front, cupping your hands underneath the sole of your foot. Bring your nose towards your knee. Swing your leg back and forth, side to side. 
Grab onto your big toe in yogi grip with your index and middle finger. Swing your leg to and fro, back and forth. If you wish, come into some deeper positions. Bend at the knee, tuck your shoulder underneath your leg. Push your leg into your body. Push your arm back, pressing, raising up your foot, your ankle. Open. I want to take it even further. You can swing your leg behind your head. You can lean back if that feels appropriate. Breathe into your body. If you wish, come out. Press your hands to the floor, lift your body right up off the floor, come down, nose towards the floor, swinging your legs out to side, be active, be present, be strong, do what feels appropriate. When you're finished, come on back to center, change sides, left leg long, draw your right heel in, cross it over your thigh, pull out from behind, Draw your knee towards you, press down through your sitting bone, shoulders release, next inhale, make that wide arc, raise up your right arm this time, swing it up tall, exhale as you lower behind you, pressing your hand into the floor, pulling at your knee, every part of your body present, active, aware, as you prepare to twist, draw in a deep breath. Exhale, slowly start to twist to the right. So your left shoulder moves forward, right shoulder draws back. Soften and relax your twist as you inhale. Deepen as you exhale. Lifting, twisting. Remember that upward spiral. Your twist starts at your seat. Cork screws its way on upwards through your lower back, mid-back, shoulders, and then that last part to enter into this twist. Bring your body out, release those toxins. Breathe. Don't let your breath be encumbered by over twisting. Just be present. Feel the stretch from your head to your toes. Hang out as long as it feels appropriate. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out all the way. Draw your navel in your spine. Empty of breath. Hang out here for a moment or two, perhaps coming into the deepest part of your twist. When you're ready, inhale. Back to center you go and counter twist. Use that right arm to push against your shin as you lift and twist. Start from your seat, work your way up, head and neck, the last part to come in to the full scope of your twist. Feel the ribcage rise and fall with each breath as you move deeply into the pose. Face soft, peaceful. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out all the way. Draw your navel in your spine. Empty your breath. When you're ready, inhale back to center you go. Hands to either side of your straight left leg. Lower down your right knee. Advance your torso forward. Let yourself come into the pose. Take note of this hamstring compared to the other side. No judgment, just awareness. Melt into your body, into the floor. One more deep breath in. 
Exhale it out all the way. And then slowly walk those hands towards you as you roll up. Pick up right foot and leg this time. Swing your leg from side to side. If you like, do rock the baby here, cradling your elbow underneath the sole of your foot. Keep your ankle and your knee perfectly aligned. Swing back and forth, opening up your hips and pelvis, increasing your range of motion. Play through some other variations if that appeals. Extend your leg, cupping those hands underneath the sole of your foot. Feel the shoulder open. Get your leg to straighten. See where you can bring your nose to your knee. See where your leg bends. See where it can stay straight. How much you can move the torso forward. Play with your edges. Bring your big toe into yogi grip, wrapping that index and middle finger. Lean back. Swing your leg from side to side. Experience being in this body. Bend at the knee. Tuck that shoulder underneath, just like you did on the other side. Pushing and pulling one part of the body against another. Using the floor. Playing with your edges. If you want to get more advanced, you can press your hands down, you can swing your leg out to the side. Enjoy being in this body, experiencing spaciousness. And then, come to the front third of your mat. Let's do some spinal rolls. Hands below your knees. On your inhale, draw forward, arching, lifting, looking up. Exhale, round your body, chin to chest, pull at your knees, press your feet to the floor, widen your scapula. Inhale as you draw forward, arching. Exhale, rounding, make it smooth, easy. So good for your discs, vertebra. Not a forceful pose, all about creating spaciousness, comfort, making your spine work, each one, each vertebra functioning perfectly, allowing you to absorb fully, no areas that are tighter, everything aligned. If you wish to come to full spinal rolls, Swing your legs up and over. Coming forward, nose towards your toes. Move back and forth in full spinal rolls. Warming up your body, bringing in flexibility, suppleness. Spaciousness. If you wish, come into plow. Hang out here for a few moments. You can clasp your hands, tucking the shoulders, chin towards your chest. You can allow your knees to drop by your ears for a nice release for your lower back. When you come out, be careful not to contract the back of your neck. Crisscross your hands, let your backside land on top of your wrists, and slowly lower down as you exhale your legs. Inhale as you raise them up. Keep your face soft, your expression unchanged. Up and down, find the perfect tempo. Slower the better. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you come down. If you wish, you can point your toes long as you lift up. Flex your feet, toes towards your knees on your way down. Keep your face relaxed, building strength. Use that sounding breath. And if you like, you can do a couple more 
context for learning. Take a brief pause in mini shavasana. 